One of the strategies used by hedge fund managers to beat the market is known as sector rotation. Now, the idea is simple because S&P 500 is the benchmark that we want to beat. We understand that S&P is made out of 11 different sectors. So instead of investing in the whole S&P 500, we only invest into the sectors within the S&P 500 that is performing well and we divest those that hasn't been doing well. So how do we know which sector will be doing well or not? The way to study it is known as sector rotation. Looking at the graph, you can see that the market cycle goes from market bottom to bull market all the way to market top then following by a recession going into bear market and using past data there are four key indicators to know which stage we are in the four key indicators we look at is consumer confidence industrial production interest rate and the yield curve and from the table below you can see during different phases of the market cycle these four indicators will behave differently looking at the first indicator consumer sentiment we can see that consumer sentiment is dropping based on the previous quarters based on this particular table we can highlight that consumer confidence is currently declining this indicates that market may be at near full recovery at the top of the bull market next looking at gdp growth we can see for the past three quarters gdp growth has been dropping from 4.9 percent all the way to 1.1 a falling gdp indicates that there's an early recession the third indicator we look at is interest rate and we know that interest rate right now is at all-time high and the fed is not intending to increase them but in fact considering decreasing them so this third indicator interest rate shows that it's peaking which indicates an early recession as well finally the yield curve this is the yield curve of 10 years treasury minus two years and we can see that it's in a negative zone this means that the 10 years treasury interest rate is lower than a two years interest rate indicating an inverted yield curve on normal circumstances a long-term treasury should have a higher interest rate since they are locking up our money for a longer time. But in this current situation, it's inverted and flat, indicating an early recession. So based on these four indicators, we can see that we are either near full recovery heading into an early recession. What this means for investors is we can invest into sectors like communication services, consumer staples, healthcare and utilities. As we watch out for signs of early recessions, we can start to shift our portfolio there and likely we will be able to invest into sectors that do better in these conditions. To learn more about investing, follow us and also click on the link around to download more resources to make you a better investor.